Though our world was much changed by it, most Americans know virtually nothing about the First World War. Much of what we think we know is wrong. Historian Edward Lengel wrote a bottom-up history of one important battle titled To Conquer Hell, the Meuse Argonne, 1918. At the beginning of that war, the idea had always been that fighting is something that you do as, as a debt to your society. It's your duty to your society. World War I creates for the first time this idea that society also owes something to the soldiers, that there is a sense of entitlement, uh, that it goes both ways. Uh, in particular, you think about uh, you know, the Bonus Army uh, during the Great Depression. Um, and how you know, these soldiers got practically nothing from the state when they came back. Like, like other soldiers in other wars, they had trouble adapting, they had trouble finding jobs, they had trouble readjusting to society. And, and many of them were functionally disabled. Yeah, and functionally disabled and physically disabled as well. Uh, many of them, you think how many whose lungs were ruined by gas as well. To say nothing of shell shock. And shell shock, which was not understood well at that time, and you know, mental illness, uh, all, all the post-traumatic stress uh, was not understood, but you see it in all the, all the stories that the veterans told. Uh, but for the first time, you know, the veterans really forced society to realize that, you know, you need to help us. You need to help us get back into society. You need to, to support us and, and give us pensions. Um, and it developed really that idea of, of the social contract. I'm amazed at how many things, as Bill's saying about legacy, are so current with this. Bill, I'm sorry, you were about to say? I found shortly. myself <laughs> thinking about the, the promises that were made when you talk about the, the sense of entitlement. The, the, you know, there were promises made during the Revolutionary War that were not carried out. There were problems, promises made during the War of 1812. There were promises made in the Civil War. Uh, to, the, to troops, to African Americans, to lots of different people. Uh, we're still doing that today. The scandal is another way to describe it at Walter Reed Hospital. Oh, no, no. Is, is one more example of, we, you know, as long as they're over there and sort of out of the way and doing what they're supposed to do, we, you know, we're, we talk a lot about supporting them. Right. But we consistently fail to deliver, that, deliver on that social contract uh, that we have not, you know, that's not only implicit, but in most cases it has been made explicit and almost inevitably we let the veterans down. And people just don't want to think about it. What astounds me is how little attention has been given to the wounded, uh, and to those who have, again, been physically or, or mentally disabled in the Iraq War. Uh, you know, we keep count of how many have been killed uh, just as a number. But there's and just no, Americans. Yeah, just Americans. Uh, no attention to the bodies coming home. No attention, really, with the exception of this Walter Reed scandal. Kudos to the to the Washington Post for for bringing that out. I went and looked at a map. That that hospital, as best I could tell, is within walking distance of Congress and the White right. House. Right. Mm -hmm. And again, we know. What's going to happen if we do not exercise uh, leadership, judgment, and, and more than anything, probably responsibility with respect to these people we're asking to die for us? And to kill for us. That's right. right. And it's, it's so important to remember. It's so important to, to look back to the past and to draw those parallels uh, with the present. Uh, again, when, when you look at this war in World War I, it astounds me that... Americans don't want to think about it. It's just too ugly. It's just too bloody. It's just like with, with Iraq today. It's disappeared from the media for the last few months. It's not, disappeared. Not funny anymore. Completely. <laughs>